What's going on, y'all? Welcome to Meat Cranium Barbecue Review. Today, I'm doing Steak of the Sky, which is duck. This duck right here was just killed this morning. So this is pretty fresh. If you look, it came from a farm. If you look, it's kind of got a little bit of black stuff on there. It's because they burn off the feathers after they, they pluck the feathers and they uh, then, then they burn the end. So uh, I'm gonna show you all a quick way on how to score the skin so that the fat can leach out. And I'm actually going to be cooking this tomorrow. I'm gonna let this uh, stay inside the salt so that that uh, skin can kind of dry out. And I'll be putting it onto the Charbroil Big E. Easy. Oilless turkey fire. Probably my number one favorite cooker of all time. That's not a smoke ray, of course. Cool thing about duck. Look at this bad boy. Okay, right here's the neck, see? <laughs> oh, if you don't believe me that, it, that it's not fresh, this also came in the bag. I feel like I'm like Santa Claus giving y'all some cool stuff. So what I have in here? What I got in the bag? <laughs> oh, oh. I have, uh, looks like that's a gizzard, a, uh, a duck gizzard. A duck foot. <laughs> yum yum. A duck liver. See? Told y'all. This is as fresh as it can get. All the other stuff they have is like commercial, like a store bought duck. It's all like, a, it's all been bleached. It all looks pretty. This is a fresh freaking duck. To do this, uh, I'm gonna get the camera pointed down. I'm gonna go ahead and get it prepped. And then I'm gonna show you an easy way how to prep this thing. It's gonna, it's gonna blow your mind. It's so easy. First off, right here is the charbroil big easy. I went ahead, I cleaned the inside because I wanted to get, I want to collect all that beautiful duck fat as it drips down the side here. This thing is awesome. If y'all can ever get a hold of a, uh, a charbroil big easy oilless turkey fryer, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. All right, so let's get started. So first thing, uh, we don't need the neck here. It almost kind of reminds me of a Christmas story, you know, the, uh, the uh, Christmas turkey they had. Don't really need this, so uh, all right, there that's good for some soup or whatever else you want. And on as it cooks, so there we go. All right, I've seen Malcolm Reed before, um, he's taken like a, a corn on a cob, uh, that you put in the corn on a cob. You see him poke that before. People can will use a knife to score the skin. Uh, easy way, just take some kitchen shears, pinch the meat like this, just make little, little nips like this. I already did one right here already. Just take a little nips. You don't need to do big ones because you want that fat to leach out. So just go across here, pinch the skin like that, and you'll be able to get it. And it gets right up to the uh, it gets right up to the uh, the meat. Just come across here and just nip it like that. It's gonna let that fat leach out. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a boy or a girl. Might be a boy. Let's cut this off. Don't need this. There we go. Don't need that. So got this pretty much uh, scored. Keep going through here like this. So you got the idea. Okay, so I pretty much have this thing nice and scored all over. Now it's time to salt the bird. I will be cleaning my hands after I do this, but I wanna talk about it real quick. All right, so another thing cool about duck is that duck does not have E. coli that's associated with chicken. Because see, with chicken, it has E. coli, you can get sick if it doesn't get well done. With duck, you can actually cook at the same temperatures as you do with pork. So I'm probably gonna be cooking this one to probably about a 145, 150. That's the same kind of temperature that I like to cook my my pork at. I like it a little bit pink. So my duck, I'm gonna cook it the same exact way, 145 to probably 150, and that's gonna be a perfect duck to me. And I'm also gonna be making an orange marmalade coconut sauce to go with this duck as well, because it's gonna be so crispy, so beautiful, it's gonna need something nice to complement it, a nice sauce to complement it. Get back down to salting this thing. All right, here we go. Spray a little bit of water on it. Moisten up the skin. Okay. There we go. Now it's gonna stick. There we go. There we go, duck. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the fridge and I'll see y'all tomorrow. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to wear the same shirt and same hat. So it looks like this was all filmed inside the same day, but it wasn't. Okay, so anyhow, I'll see y'all tomorrow.
All right, y'all, so it's the next day. I've already taken the duck out right here. It's got a little bit of liquid has gathered on the top, which is what you kind of want to see. It's drawing that moisture out, what you want to do. You want to see that? And I've also ran some hooks in here because I'm going to be hanging this thing up inside the Big Easy. I'll show you how I hooked it up. So with the duck here, I've got, uh, I've got one hook running in this way. I have another hook running in the other way. So that one hook is turns this way. Then the other hook turns the other way. And this is running through the breast, okay? So it's gonna be hanging up like this inside the Big Easy, just like that. I'm also gonna show y'all what I'm gonna be doing for the sauce. Let's go through the ingredients on that. Okay, so going from going from the left to the right, I've got some uh, some chives. Have some five spice um, powder. That's gonna be going on, on the turkey. Don't need to have that. It's not gonna go with the marmalade. I have some ground ginger, or you can actually use some fresh ginger. I got lazy on this one and decided to use some ground ginger. I also have some orange juice, or you can use a pulp, or you can use a, actually juice uh, two oranges. But I'm gonna be going ahead and using the bottled 100% orange juice. Got some rice vinegar, some low sodium soy sauce. Then also have a bottle, a 17. 0.25 ounce bottle of Smucker's all natural orange marmalade. And then also have a bag of some coconut flakes. Then over here, got a new wave induction cooktop. And uh, also gonna have a, a Cuisinart saucepan. We're gonna be cooking that all in at a, on a medium high. And then of course have the duck, which I'm gonna be treating first with some five spice uh, powder on there. All right, so to keep this kind of clean, I'm gonna be putting this uh, Chinese five spice, gonna be put into a, a bowl. Just gonna go ahead and from a pie, rain it down, let it rain, let it rain. This stuff smells so good. If y'all have never tried a Chinese five spice, this stuff is super awesome. Okay, once again, with duck, you don't have to worry about E. coli. It's almost kind of treated like uh, you do with like, uh, treat like you almost do with like steak. It is the steak of the sky, y'all. Okay, flip this thing over. Let it rain from a pie. There we go, let it rain down. And that also gives it a really nice color as well. I really like the way the Chinese Five Spice uh, kind of like really sits on there. It gives it a good color to uh, duck. Now let's get the uh, Charbroil Big Easy turned on. The one problem I'm probably gonna run into when doing this is uh, when I hang it up, this is my H frame for the barrel house cooker. This is what you hang meat up in the barrel house cooker, but I also like to double it and use it in my Big Easy. The uh, duck hanging all the way down and it touching the bottom. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and probably try to adjust, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to hang it up now. All right, so I have the duck on the H frame right here. See it, you see it? I'll just try to put this thing down inside there. Yes. It fits, it's hanging freely, it's not rubbing. That's awesome. I planned that out perfect. I'm just gonna let that sit there. I'm gonna put a couple of temp probes in there. Wait for the total temperature. Okay, you got an internal temperature of 43. All right, there we go, 43 in both ends. Gonna be bringing us to an internal temperature about 145, 150. And that's the lid. I like to cook with the lid on the majority of the time. I'll probably take it off and on about every 30 minutes, take it off, take it off about every 30 minutes. That's how I roll, but I wanna go ahead and get it started as quickly as possible right now to try to get that heat and that cooking process started. Uh, let's get started on this marmalade. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I got a package of chives. You can also use green onions from, uh, from Wally World. Gonna go ahead and just uh, chop these up real quick. Next one turns to a medium high. All right, let's make some marmalade. So I'll be using half of this. Now this is really good also, not just with duck, but you can also use this with um, ribs. Uh, pork is really good with, so say uh, eight ounces, so we need probably about a cup of this. Orange juice, uh, this is natural, all natural orange juice. You can use, uh, this is almost a cup, about eight ounces, about, about a cup of that. I'm taking half of these chives, put half those chives in there. Kind of stir this up a little bit, medium high. Let's reduce down a little bit. We're gonna do uh, say three tablespoons of some soy sauce. Rice vinegar, gonna go with three tablespoons of some rice vinegar. And I'm going to adjust all these flavors as it cooks. I might add some more of one of those. You can also add honey to this, but I'm not gonna be adding honey to it today. You wanna go with about a teaspoon of uh, some ginger, or you can use a, a teaspoon of like some, uh, some natural ginger if you wanna just peel and grate it, it'd be really good. Just gonna let this come to a boil, but I'm gonna try it. I forgot to add the coconut, but I'm gonna add the coconut now. The coconut doesn't need to be added in with everything else. You can add the coconut separate at a later point in time. So I'm gonna go with probably about a quarter cup of uh, some coconut. There we go. This is almost like a, a Caribbean, Asian 
fusion type of glaze for this duck. You know, I like to fuse flavors together. So I'm kind of fusing the Caribbean, kind of like a, like a Caribbean food with the coconut and the orange juice, Asian flavors, like the like the chives, the ginger, and also the rice vinegar. This is gonna be really good. It's already smelling fantastic. And also with the smell of the Chinese five spice over there cooking on the duck, this is just, this is banging right now. This is awesome, I love this. There we go, getting a good boil on there. All right, so this has been boiling for a couple of minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a try, see how, it, see how it's uh, progressing. Needs a little more soy sauce. So make that uh, four tablespoons or one quarter cup of soy sauce. Let that boil up a little bit more. I'm gonna go wash my spoon that I just uh, tried off of because I don't have a backup one and I don't want this to be nasty. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down low. There you go, just turn this down to medium low. I'm gonna let it uh, kind of cool off and, uh, and as it cools down, it's gonna thicken up as well. It's still gonna reduce down. All right, so I've had let it sit here and simmer on a medium low for approximately five, 10 minutes. It's at the consistency I want it at now. I don't want it too thick, I don't want it too thin, but uh, it's uh, it's nice consistency I want it. And this, once again, will go great on ribs, but this is also gonna thicken up as I let it cool down. It's gonna, it's gonna thicken up as well. So I'm gonna stop it right here and let it cool down, and let's look at the duck. All right, so the internal of the duck right now is approximately about 99 degrees. It's getting a perfect color. I went ahead and I uncovered it, just like I said I would, and I'm gonna cover it up uh, when it hits probably about, uh, probably 130, 140. I'll probably cover it up again those last few minutes to crisp it up. Uh, however, it's uh, it's crisping up really good right now. It's getting nice and brown. I really like the color of it right now, but it's also due to that uh, that Chinese five spice. About a half, about a half hour in. Looking real good. I wanna show y'all something real quick. So this is why we cut the slits in the duck right here, is because oil leaches out. Right there is the pants filling up with uh, duck fat. That duck fat is liquid freaking gold that is some good stuff right there so now it's been about 45 minutes internal temperature is about 115 so this duck is cooking extremely fast which i like and that's good so right now the internal temperature i don't know if y'all can see this or not it's at uh, 130 133 so i'm gonna go ahead and put the top on for the last little bit for like the last uh, 15 degrees i'm gonna pull this off 150 that's coming off i'm gonna let some more of that that uh that liquid gold uh, gather into my tray down below. All right, shut it off. It is ready. It's only been about an hour, maybe about an hour and 15 minutes, I'd say. It's out of 151 and 147 in the other. Take the lid off. Now, time to remove this. Just gonna let this thing sit right here and just let it rest. If any flies start coming around, I'll probably put some piece of foil on it. But uh, for right now, I'm just gonna leave this right the way it is. That is beautiful. I love that. I can't wait any longer. It's been about five minutes. i go ahead and get this thing uh, cut open. Channel 150 right there. How beautiful that is. Pure dark meat right there, that is gorgeous. There's some of that, uh, that orange marmalade sauce on there. Here's that marmalade sauce right there. Y'all, that right there is pure sexiness right there. Mm -mm -mm. It's all mine too, taste test time. All right, here it goes. So here's a piece of the uh, duck with that orange marmalade sauce on there. It's literally like steak, but from the sky. Man, that's good. That Chinese five spice has come through real good. So you get a little bit of Chinese five spice, and orange marmalade and coconut sauce. But yeah, I'm gonna do that again. That's pretty freaking awesome. If you're like my buddy Rico over at Smoking Jazz Barbecue, and you don't like coconut, don't put coconut in there. I was texting with him when I was cooking this, and uh, him and Tommy over at the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. I was texting with both those guys, and uh, I guess Rico doesn't like coconut. He says, you lost me on coconut. Well, man, don't put don't put coconut in there. So anyhow, I thought it was pretty funny. Anyhow, uh, y'all go check out uh, the Gallery Backyard Barbecue and Smoking Jazz Barbecue. He's back doing videos, so I'm really excited about that. Anyhow, see y'all next week. Like, subscribe, ciao.